Today's poem is a fable. Do you know what a fable is? A fable is a short story about animals that has a moral. So today's poem is a very short one with a wonderful moral. If you like animal stories and stories with morals, this poem is for you. I'm Malene from English Made Easy. This channel is dedicated to creating easy and interesting lessons so that you can improve your English in an enjoyable way. If at the end of the lesson, you feel that you have enjoyed it and learned from it, do hit that like button. And if you want to receive notifications when I post new content like this, do subscribe to my channel. Thank you in advance. So today's poem has a moral and it is about a squirrel and a mountain. They both start quarreling about their strengths and weaknesses. And it seems like the squirrel is wiser than the mountain because it realizes that even though there are things that the mountain can do and the squirrel cannot, there are other things that the squirrel can do and the mountain cannot. Watch the video to learn what these things are and to understand the poem better. Poems are a great way to improve your English. And if you don't know what I mean, you can listen to them, enjoy them, and improve your vocabulary, pronunciation, spelling, and comprehension. I have written the meanings of words I think you may not understand. And I will explain the poem to you as I read it. Don't forget to attempt the comprehension questions at the end of the lesson, just to see how well you have understood it. Let's begin with this very famous poem. Here we go, The Mountain and the Squirrel by Ralph Waldo Emerson. The mountain and the squirrel had a quarrel. What's a quarrel? A heated argument. So these two had an argument. And what were they arguing about? We'll find out very soon. And the former called the latter little prig. Former means the first of the two mentioned in the poem. So the first of the two is the mountain. Latter means the second of the two mentioned in the poem. And the second of the two is the squirrel. So the former called the latter, which means the mountain called the squirrel, little prig. Prig is an annoying person with attitude. So the mountain and the squirrel had a quarrel. The mountain called the squirrel, little prig, little annoying person with attitude. Bun replied. Bun means squirrel. So the squirrel replied to the mountain. You are doubtless very big. I don't doubt the fact that you are big. You are enormous. You are huge. You are titanic. But all sorts of things and weather must be taken in together to make up a year and a sphere. So what the squirrel is telling the mountain is that I agree with the fact that you are very big. But we cannot look at just that one point. There are so many things involved in making up a year, for example, or a sphere. A sphere is a round, solid figure. What makes a figure round and solid? So many things, so many things, not just one thing. And so the squirrel says, we cannot just look at the fact that you are big. And that is not the only thing that you should think of when you think that you are more important than I am. And I think it is no disgrace to occupy my place. Absolutely. Disgrace meaning loss of respect or shame. So the squirrel says, 
I don't think it's any shame for anyone to want to be a squirrel, a squirrel like me or all the other squirrels in the world. What's wrong with being a squirrel? If I'm not so large as you, you are not so small as I. Doesn't the squirrel have such a wonderful attitude? The squirrel says, I don't care about the fact that you are so big. So what if you are big? I'm small. I'm not as big as you are, but neither are you as small as I am. And you are not half so spry. Spry meaning active. Obviously, isn't it? A mountain cannot be active. And the squirrels being so kind by saying not half so spry. The mountain cannot be spry at all. The mountain cannot move. The mountain's fixed in one place. I'll not deny you make a very pretty squirrel track. So the squirrel is telling the mountain, I'm going to tell you a good quality that you have. And that is the fact that you make a very pretty squirrel track. A track is a rough path, a path for squirrels to walk up and down the mountain. And we love that about you. Talents differ. So you have your talents and I have mine. All is well and wisely put. It's very wise to consider it all together. If I cannot carry forests on my back, neither can you crack a nut. The squirrel tells the mountain that there are many things that you can do that I cannot do. There are many things that I can do that you cannot do. We need to take a lot of things together to realize that we are all equal, that we all have talents and different talents, different talents that make each one of us so special. Talent meaning a natural skill. Each one of us is good at something that the other person is not good at, but that other person is good at something that you are not good at. So we cannot compare ourselves to someone else. It's not wise to do so. All is well the way it is. And what's the main thing the squirrel says? The squirrel tells the mountain, if I cannot carry forests on my back, like you can, you can carry forests and that's a great thing. I can't carry forests on my back, but that doesn't make me any less important than you are because I can crack a nut and that is something you cannot do. I've taken this poem from 100bestpoems.net as you can see at the bottom. So let me go through the poem one more time without stopping to explain it, just so that you get the flow of the poem and enjoy it. The Mountain and the Squirrel by Ralph Waldo Emerson. The mountain and the squirrel had a quarrel and the former called the latter, little prig. Bun replied, you are doubtless very big, but all sorts of things and weather must be taken in together to make up a year and a sphere. And I think it no disgrace to occupy my place. If I'm not so large as you, you are not so small as I and not half so spry. I'll not deny you make a very pretty squirrel track. Talents differ. All is well and wisely put. If I cannot carry forests on my back, neither can you crack a nut. May I draw your attention to one small fact before I proceed? The fact that neither can also be pronounced as neither. They're both right. You can choose to say it any way you like. And now are you ready for a few simple questions to test your comprehension skills? Let's see, they're very easy ones. Are the following statements true or false? The mountain and the squirrel disagreed with each other. The squirrel doubted that the mountain was huge. The mountain called the squirrel little prig. The squirrel said that the mountain could also crack a nut if it tried. So going back to the first question, the mountain and the squirrel disagreed with each other. True or false? True. The squirrel doubted that the mountain was huge. False. 
The squirrel accepted the fact the mountain was huge. The mountain called the squirrel little prick or was it the squirrel who called the mountain little prick? True, it was the mountain who called the squirrel that. And the last one, the squirrel said that the mountain could also crack a nut if it tried. False. The squirrel said that the mountain could not crack a nut. I hope you enjoyed the poem. We are all special in our own distinctive way. If you like using poems to improve your English, do check out this one about a sick dragon and you will find it very amusing. I'll end here with some famous words by Ralph Waldo Emerson. He said, and I quote, what you do speaks so loudly that I cannot hear what you say, unquote. What he means is that actions speak louder than words. So don't preach to people about what they should do. Rather, live your lives in such a way that people can watch you and learn. Here's another one. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Unquote. Dare to explore the unknown. Dare to take that treacherous journey. Dare to stand out in a crowd. Lead so that others can follow. Show them the right way. Bye for now.